Alrighty, welcome back to Weenie Trades. I'm gonna be giving a quick Twisty Tuesday recap. So I'm gonna be talking about the day trades, uh, the swing trades that I'm holding forward, and a little bit about the courses. So it was a crazy day today. We had uh, Google report its earnings, we had Micros or Amazon report its earnings, crazy stuff going on, big movements after hours. But uh, we, we were really able to capitalize off a lot of good trades, so it was really fun today. So let's go into the trades. Our first trade of the day was on SQ. And SQ, I said I really like SQ from the game plan, over $220 a share. Well, we said we were going to take some profits at about 230 Well, we did just that. SQ, we actually entered again just for a quick uh, day trade in the morning, right over uh, 227.28. And I was going to have a wide stop. I wanted to add over 225 at around 225 if we dip back in, but we never got that dip. And boom, we get this nice good move up. I took profits a little bit early at about 229.50. So that's okay, but SQ is a really good revenue trade to start the day of a nice good little $93. We are still swinging an SQ. Uh, put credit spread, which means we're selling puts, meaning as long as SQ stays above 220 by February 12th, we're going to collect $119. And uh, it's looking to the trade is looking really well. So we're collecting premium as SQ goes sideways to slightly higher. All we need SQ is above $220 a share by the end of next week. So that was our first trade of the day. Our next trade of the day was on Lockheed Martin. And if you recall yesterday's video, I said, I like LMT. Uh, LMT is looking really good. If we're looking at the daily chart, we're oversold. And we got Kathy the Queen going ahead and buying it. Boy, I love that catalyst. It was a little bit of a low volume slash choppy stock, but LMT move up, pull back, and then we started to move up and then put in a nice good base. And right here, as we started to form this base, I didn't get the volume breakout that I was really looking for, but I still really liked LMT, Lockheed Martin, to build the position. So I went ahead and went long over 3.30, and then I added over 3.31. So I've got a decent position. My average is about 3.30.95. Boom, I start to peel profits off at 333.20, and then I peeled off some more profits right at about 30, 333.20 right again. So LMT, nice good little revenue trade of $115, and I am swing trading it. The PL doesn't matter as much as the entries and exits, but really good uh, move on LMT and looking for a move up to at least 340 on LMT. And then our next trade of the day and our last day trade of the day was our last big tra day trade of the day was on Microsoft. And Microsoft, I was looking at the daily chart. And I was like, boy, Microsoft looks like it should be able to pop those highs. It was nearing them. The volume was starting to kind of increase a little bit over here, right about here. But it was a kind of a topping move. But here we go. We got to pull down, move up, higher low pivot. And then we made a higher high. And I was like, okay, as long as we can hold around 242, I like Microsoft. I went long over 242. And guess what? This trade didn't work out. This is a stop out. Not every trade is a winning trade. I was looking for a move up through 244 at least. That's kind of the, this little breakdown candle area. So I was looking for a move up to 244, 245. Just couldn't get it. So if the trade doesn't go uh, in my favor, I have to stop out. I went with a pretty high delta, a really good in the money, volatile contract. And we put in a bear flag. That we moved down first, then we went sideways, and then we flushed. And as we flushed, I had to put in a hard stop in the system, and that's fine. You know, just lick my wounds, take the stop out, minus $89. So net net on the day trading plus $113. If we count the swing trading, minus $9. That's okay. Nice good little revenue trade of 100 a revenue day of $103. Not as big of a deal. A little bit more on the Robin Hood and a little bit more on the Weeble, but I tend to not really count those, so that doesn't really matter. So looking uh, forward in the future, I am swinging APA. APHA, APHA had a nice good daily bull flag, and APHA, nice good bull move all day. If we uh, if we look, we were able to scoop up some shares, but I was saying, boy, uh, APHA, nice good bull move. We talked about the capitulation volume, meaning the volume was extremely high. That signified a top. Uh, it was five days extended, and everybody sold on the fifth green day up, capitulation type volume, but then we went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven days sideways, sideways between twelve dollars and eight and uh thirteen thirty seven. So really a uh, nice good range, and uh, right over here over thirteen seventy, but really over fourteen. That's where we started to build the position. I like the daily breakout. I like the weekly bull flag. There's a lot of resistance up here, but I really like to uh, build this position. And APHA is really doing the deal, so keep an eye out on APHA. Next resistance is going to be 1560 and about 1620. Then we'll reevaluate from there. Be sure to tune into Weenie Trades Live if you want to see that. We also are also swinging NNDM. NNDM. I went ahead and went long, just about uh, 1474, and now that's pushing up nice after hours. Closed a little bit red on the day but that's okay. We are able to uh, uh, see a nice good move up and I'm going to be looking for a move all the way through 20 
uh, for the next coming weeks on NNDM. So NNDM, watching that. And then lastly, I'm watching Disney. Disney had a nice, good green day. And Disney has said I was bullish pre-market. And Disney was being a nice, good beast. p Open is being a little bit weird, but that's probably because we had to take a lot of stop outs from this me uh, megaphone downtrend. But that's okay. We're looking for Disney to break through 180 on nice, good volume and explode up through. So we'll be uh, keeping an eye out for that. So I'll be working on a beginner's course uh, due to high demand. Everybody's asking me, when's the beginner course going to be happening? When's the beginner course going to uh, be coming out? And I'm going to be working. I'm still working on it. I want to make sure that it is a nice, good, high quality for all you guys. And I want to be sure to offer like a good money back guarantee, making sure you're getting what you're paying for and uh, making sure you can learn. So you can uh, lessen the learning curve of the many years that it takes to learn to just uh, make a decent living in the market. So uh, thank you for support for your support on Weenie Trades Live. I really appreciate every guy, every one of you guys tuning in, hitting the like button, donating, whatever it may be. Let's look forward. I'm looking forward to every single day and I can't wait to see you all tomorrow. Alrighty. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.